bad man fell from the sky. Skull monkey. In fact, I am Claude Monkey, the king of all skull monkeys. <laughs> Clog Monkey will never get away with this. My people are far too smart to accept him as leader. <laughs> First, we make an evil engine. We make an evil engine. Evil engine number nine. Number nine. To destroy the neighborhood. <laughs> to destroy the neighborhood. Let's get to work. Now let's get to work. Okay. Talk play eats. Over at once.
thing. Okay, we're gonna be uh, trying to beat this whole thing here. Let me see. Checking that real quick. Should now. I'm gonna start a clock just to get a heads up on how long a blind run of this takes. Game will tell you what these pickups do. Oh, jeez. That was almost a doom. That was a doom. I'm gonna start a death counter as well, just for my own measurement. This is what we were talking about with, um... How surprisingly hard it is to dodge simple enemies until you really get the hang of what's going on. I'm not sure why those ones are blue. Jeez. I blew it. So many. I might grab those because I'm curious about them. I want to see what happens when we get to that bonus land. I haven't seen it. Because it's not part of the speed run. And I don't think Arthur Blue's ever set one off. So we've already taken the wrong path here in terms of uh, level choice. I don't know how many levels there are to choose, but... Um, Definitely didn't want to come this way. Word. Yeah, this level's way worse. Uh, in terms of speed, there's just dudes guarding every ledge. But there's four one ups there. Damn. You know what? I'm, I'm interested in that. Let's, let's see what, what's up with that first. How to obtain those one-ups. These are the mysteries. You can go behind this pillar. How do I get back there? He 
you do get height off a third enemy, but they they won't even come over there, and it's also not enough anyway. There must be a different way to do it. And also, the item that grabs all the items on the screen doesn't exist yet, so... I can't work this out. This four one up there and I don't have any idea how they grabbed. It doesn't really matter, I'm just curious. This will be a mystery. Unsolved. Oh, they're carrying tomatoes for me. I thought they had a weapon, but they're just giving me power up. So long, immunity. I'm surprised that you can find out where, how to get those one-ups anywhere. work of art.
Oh, this is where we got our weapon. Well, I'd burn that early, really. I wonder if there's other ones that I didn't know about. I didn't think the glide bird was anywhere except for like stage 12. <laughs> I got hoisted pretty bad there. guy's dangerous. I gotta bounce off that, um... They're homing souls. I think you can just bounce off of them right to the exit, but I wanna explore the stage. Yeah, there's a lot of secrets, but if there's a gliding bird, uh, that actually might have relevance to speedrunning. Um, if we find one in a good level that we didn't know about, that might save a lot of time. It gives you a whole lot of movement tech. Okay, yeah, he is dangerous when he's sparking. there's any reason not to use this aside from the casting time of it in a, in a run but i'm not done run so this is just another life to use sort of in its own weird way Okay, where's this going? Here's a little bonus room. It's a word. And here's a little bonus too about collecting real cool stuff. This here's a little bonus room where you can play. Don't be frightened. Don't level two, that level two I went to, unfortunately, is um way longer than the other one, so I don't think that one will help. But uh, the fact that it exists makes me think that there might be more like it. If you hang out long enough, you just get four one-ups. This is the speed bump game, yeah. What is this? This is unusual. I didn't see this before. We are way off course on the run, man. Shit. Wait, that was a bonus round? I, I want to play in the bonus round before I fight the boss.
There was a whole song about how there's no enemies in the bonus round, immediately followed by a bonus round full of enemies. But at least he's not singing about how there's not any enemies in here anymore. So I guess it checks out. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in there if you can pull it off. Ow. Well, that other bonus round I got was from the cues. Are they both from the same thing? Oh. I don't think it's made by that guy at all. I think they just used his characters. Having just seen the credits. <laughs> you guys give that dude way too much credit. He's not the designer of hardly anything. bird button. Oh, this level was uh, cycling fire really viciously for the Blues and not for the speedrun. Makes me think they're on a global timer and if you're really cruising they won't bother you. Well, I'm not really cruising. So they're gonna bother me. I'll just, uh, I'll just take it easy. We'll get through. Damn. That's too high. if I take the red one or not there. Oh man, I gotta get this. Is he on the Neverhood Studio team? There, I'm maxed out now. I'm gonna be using these guns and grabbing one up wherever I can because I've seen what it's like when you don't. So if I'm standing still, I can launch these. I don't know how long this illusion lasts. This um, If I take a death here, I get sent back, but I don't die. 
That's what this is. Okay, so it's over. I can just use this. Save lives. Uh, one of the advantages gameplay-wise is that every enemy I kill will, will still be dead because they're... I'm not actually dying when it dies. Fire zone. Try again. If it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get the world record, we might change it to a race. We didn't have a whole lot of sign-ups for the race uh, yesterday. Not enough to do it. Oof. World record's 51 minutes. I have no bullets. I wasted them on the boss, that's why. Oh, you get a big boost if you jump off a moving platform. It's just like um that one Mario game. Ah Yeah, week one we're looking for a preliminary race. We didn't get it, so we might try week two. This is a longer and more difficult game than some of the other ones we've done, though. whips so much ass, man. It's so good at what it does. I think I'll just go. I don't like Earthworm Jim at all. It's a labyrinthian platformer mess with ammo restrictions and horrible level design. Battletoad style gimmicks. Every level is worse than the last. Uh, I tried to like it, but man. Couldn't stand it. And the sequel was even worse. It was my childhood game. I just picked a different childhood game because my childhood knew better than to play shitty games. <laughs> Around the time that game came out, I was starting to have some kind of opinion about games that were bad. And I couldn't put up with them anymore. Somebody submitted some arcade pit challenges for it, and I ran through the challenges, and I was like, there's no way, man. Like, the, be the best stage in that whole thing is the, the mucus bungee jumping thing, and the even that is just a disaster. It would be so easy to make it better. Have a potato. Hmm. Dear Clayman, thank you for responding to my call so promptly. 
That wicked clog monkey has got my people working on a deadly weapon called Evil Engine Number Nine. He's going to use it to blow up the Neverhood. Mm. Enclosed is a sacred route that will help you when you need it most. Sincerely, Jerryo. P.S. Do not eat of the root, or you will break out in painful, itchy sores. Ah. Alright. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's definitely a artsy animation first game. There's lots of those. They're all pretty lousy. Cuphead is an exception, but, uh, it suffers from the same thing, just less than those games do. Same thing being, they don't care about gameplay as much as they care about the animation that's happening. This game's got some intense animations, like this duck um, is a good example uh, of what I mean. It, it doesn't care that it's still animating, it counts the duck on the first frame. So, that's the way to do it. If they do it any other way, it fucking sucks. <laughs> it's like, if you're animating a dive and you have to wait for the actual dive to finish before it works, that's, uh, that's bad news for platforming. For an ice, but there's no ice physics here. I'm still taking my time, but, um, I don't think this will be as hard as it looks. Isn't Cuphead getting, like, a TV show or something? Oops. My bad. Completely whiffed. Oh no! You can't jump on the snow. Well, I wanted the shots from the guns. I think that matters to me more than lives. Like, I'm gonna want that ammo. I really need some shots. I need to start stocking those up because they're for the boss kills. I'm gonna need five shots, I think, for the next boss. I gotta decide. I gotta pay attention to that routing too. Is the red one better or worse than the brown one when it shows up? Uh, the first red one for sure is better. This game has level selection in that in that way, like their routes. You don't do them both. You pick. So, having missed that one, I'm not sure which one's better. I don't recognize this stage, so I think I made the wrong choice. I definitely made the right choice. <laughs> but... I think Nickelodeon just decided the kids like seeing people get slimed, and so we just started liking that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't think there's much more to it than that. This is Double Dare's actions. Oh man, the bullets! There's something down bottom, but I can't see what it is. shield, but I don't think it's going to be very good. I didn't have uh, Sega, so I don't know if Poker Man was actually good at the time, but it felt like the same kind of crappy game. No. We're not messing with you. gong show I do of Genesis is mostly unplayed because I haven't seen any of those games at all. Oh, you jerk! I was afraid of that. This too. The big fall. This level is one of the... This is the rudest level in the game, I think. Based on the speed run, based on what I've seen and what I've played, this is the worst level. So I'm going to use all of my tricks to get through here. I think I have a plan. 
to make that not happen, actually. We're gonna use this guy, and if I take a hit, I'll just be back where I started and I won't lose any progress. And if I fall, I'll just take a dive on purpose and then I'll be back where I started from, so I can counter the vertical level gimmick with this. This is my safety plan. They want me to use these birds, they're giving them to me. Yeah, this is the, uh, it's almost, I can't think of any other vertical levels. The other vertical levels in this game, you're falling. Turns out that's way better. <laughs> Turns out when you want to lose progress, it's uh, better than trying to go up. Hey, I got three of them. In this game, as long as you don't game over, you get pretty loaded. But if you do, you're going to run out of ammo because you don't start with ammo on a continue. You have as many as you want, but you don't get your ammo back. So I think I'm aiming to not game over uh, by playing a little slower and get some lives. Because I sure would like to have some ammo for those boss fights. I don't know where I'm going now. <laughs> Shit. I'll take a death and get back to the checkpoint, since apparently we fell the whole way. Let me do this. I think we're still going up, actually, not down. That was the mistake I made. We never stop going vertical here. It's it's at the top. I don't know why I thought it was down. You never stop going up in this level. It's not too far now, but it is above me still. Man, the singer is lying now about the enemies being here. <laughs> what a jerk. They're absolutely here. At least they can't kill me. And even the bonus level sucks on that. I wonder if there's a bonus level attached to each individual place. Uh, that one is a bad bonus level on top of being the worst level. I got no prizes out of that. Uh, here's where damage boosting is big. This level is really slow. Slowest one. It really is. We can do stuff like this. Save some time. Because we set the next log to spawn faster by doing that. And there's lots of damage boosting hours lying around. went too fast. Well, too slow, really. Gonna need to learn where exactly I can damage boost. Feeling like I can do it here, but it might be a little far. Nice. I feel like this level is fairly generous about that. If you're damage boosting through it, it actually turns out to work most of the time. Oh! My ducking killed me. It was worth it. Oh, jeez.
Might as well wait for that cycle since I'm waiting on the log anyway. Just go. It's fine. There's a, there is a damage shield right at the start of this next level. I remember that, so. No reason not to damage boost through that last slower part. That level really didn't feel that bad to play. I thought it would feel slower than it did since you're waiting around so much. I'm not exactly cruising here. a lot of mystery one-ups <laughs> I don't know how to get to in this game, man. That's all good. I've got 10 lives. I'll be all right. There's a boss coming up soon, but I got the ammo for him. Clone power up is strange. I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's speedrunner material, but it's gonna help you on your casual run. Which I'm at right now. Certainly the point I'm at. Uh, just not taking a death and uh, killing all the enemies that you hit. Also getting to see what's up the stage. It's a little weird, but it is valuable. I wonder how it works with the uh, damage shield, actually. I think it I st still steals the damage shield. I'm not sure, though. I doubt that it gives me a damage shield twice. It would be really good if it did that. I could multiply my damage boosting. I need to check. Like, that's important, so I'm going to do that here at some point. If you die as a clone... You just go back to where you were uh, when you used the clone. And here's a little bonus too by collecting real cool stuff. Oh, I see what you're asking. Yeah, I don't know. You probably go back to the uh, checkpoint. Fuck. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> These bonus rounds are mean. Okay, it's boss time. This guy. <laughs> Dev did not make himself a powerful boss.
I thought there was a cutscene there. Maybe I missed it. I thought Alpha Blues played that one. Okay, there's a screen clear. This is the big small stage. Being small is a little weird. I'm not a big fan of that, so. What's going on is these birds only hurt us when we're small. And we can't avoid being small though, so during those periods we do have to worry about them. Otherwise we can just run right through them. How the fuck do you even do that? Okay, there we go. That's one way. I'm gonna find out right now if my clone eats. Yeah, it does. It eats my. Um, so we can't use that. It eats the damage shield. Oh! Damn. Shield's a pretty crappy one. Uh, it only. It has to actually hit the shield. It's, um, it's not a real shield, it's a sideways shield. And now that there's only one left, it's minimum protection. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. It does feel slow when you're small. It feels bad. That's why I missed that jump. It's like I can't run. The running speed is gone. The levels right after this are so much better. Ah, damn. Jeez. Maybe I should uh, learn how to play. Sorry, clone. I've never played uh, the original of this. Author Blues did. I don't know anything about that game. That part's really tricky, man. These birds are all in in the worst place too, and I'm just so tiny. I have no movement when I'm tiny. I think the gun helps that a lot. Definitely the way to do that part. Unless you really have it done well. Clone last 30 seconds. And if it dies, I just go back to where I started from. So it's um not that limited, really, but... The green ones, when they die, they cause this um, homing shot to happen, which is really hard to see. I'm trying to get my shield, but that's a really hard one to grab, too. Damn. There is a story. Pretty simple one. Okay, this is the movie that Author Blues played. I'm gonna let this play when we get a drink. The story is something like bad guy from the first game is building an evil machine. Gotta stop him.
That eye patch joke is a good one. Is this what the point and click adventure was like? a third of the way through the game now. Missing the first jump like a dope. Oh right, they're spiky. You can't jump on those guys. Yo Andy, thanks for the host. We're going to introduce a tech in this level that um, I guess was in the game before his secrets, but this fella changes the game dramatically. I wish he I wish it would just was just the way this game was from the start, man. I wish you always had this. Because it feels so good. Word. This game's actually pretty fun to play. And I think if you're interested in, in the speed bump race, you should give it a shot. But uh this bird especially is good. I wonder if I can shoot while gliding. I'm gonna check. No. Okay, so we need to take them out before I go if I plan on doing it. Play Demon's Crest, the flight works a lot like that. Um, in terms of dropping and regaining the flight. I think that middle one needs to go at least, if not the other ones. It looked pretty nasty with the three of them cycling like that. This is a long one, this stage here. But I like the glide enough that it just kind of flies by. What's up? Ah, no, I don't have glide anymore. That's right, I forgot. Uh, so glide lasts for the rest of the level you get it on, and that's it. I'm gonna need some one ups. I'm running out. Ah, damn it.
Oops. That guy is rough, man. He's super close to the, uh... Let's use this. <laughs> Forget this guy, man. I've had enough of him. Checkpoint's right there. That's pretty good. We are going, uh, we're looking to uh, compete with world record on this one. This is a pretty tough one right here. I don't have any shots left because I wasted them. I was trying to save them knowing that this was coming and that the bosses died of the gun pretty fast. But that's not true of the rest of the bosses in the game. So I think at this point you can just use your gun however you want. The first two though really benefit from having the, the shots. How do I get to that? Oh well. Maybe over here. I can't get the height. That one-up seems so dangerous. Yo, saved by checkpoint. You can't jump on these guys, they have spikes on them. So yeah, speedrun definitely avoided them. No question about it, it did that thing. Oh, I'm dead. Nope, maybe not. Nope. Okay, that's what I was talking about earlier with all the blues yesterday. You can't touch the bottom of the screen or you're going to eat it. You can't touch it at all. There's no lead way there. These guys are super mean. They're guarding really hard. Where are we at? I didn't have any items left anyway. Sucks though. Ah, jeez, they're so big. What we're dealing with here is, um, I would akin it to Donkey Kong Country too, with the big bees that float around. We have to deal with those sprites. They're big. And they have uh, instant death all over them. You can cure this with gun, but I don't have a gun, so I can't cure it. You just have to do it the hard way. There we go. Nice. That's what I didn't get last time is the hop. I was so close to the end. Uh, continuing takes all your items away. I don't didn't have very many though, but yeah, we lost them. If I get that one up, I'd like to have it. Super high up there. 
I feel like I'm not understanding tech on in terms of some of these power-ups I can't reach. But maybe you have to fly back to get it. Checkpoint is so generous about jumping off of it. <laughs> what a waste. Damn. This is going to be tough now. have to go above the first and under the second. Okay. Damn. This guy's so big. Sure wish I had gun. We have no gun. It would make so many of these so much easier because they're all super tight. Not good. Now. No good. That's really hard. Like, I don't understand the timing on some of these. And they want some short hops. Quick tap hops. I think this is the last level of flight stage. Ooh. I could use some accuracy lessons. Is 
this the last one? They, threw, they went through this so fast that I kind of lost track of how many sections there were in this. Bird. Hmm. stages are wildly different from each other in terms of length. I have no idea where the continue puts me either. Do I need to do the whole thing over or do I uh, go back to here? Uh, is that good enough? Yeah. the impression that the continues are generous. Oof. I didn't see a path through. Ain't dead yet. There's a thing. A thing. I got the thing. Damn it. Let's give that a let's give that a mulligan. I gotta stop jumping so high on these. Like half of my problem is that I'm not just tapping jump on them because like you can go underneath all those guys with a quick tap, and that's all you have to do, almost. Like there's no half jump or anything like that. It's it's much easier than I'm making it on myself. I think there's an ending for not game overing. Is that true? I missed it already. You can you can check out the cutscene percent run on uh, speedrun.com. New stages. I was confusing myself a little bit because the um, Word. the birds I was getting look similar to these shots, but these ones are smaller.
Oh yeah, all the swirlies. That sounds really hard. That sounds like some supreme game knowledge. Can we jump on these? Yes. So the game kind of peaks in difficulty on the gliding stage and tiny, tiny fella stage. And now it just... I don't know how you get that swirly down there. It looked dangerous. Uh, I'm gonna find out actually. Let me see. Anyway, this game definitely calms down after those levels are over. Yo, Psych, thanks for the host and the sub. I fell off this just for you. Totally on purpose. happens sometimes with game design they just kind of <laughs> the stage length is random the difficulty is arbitrary up in the air uh, so yeah I, I think the rest of the game actually is much easier until the last level which looks fairly difficult but still probably not as hard as what I've done already jump height off these to uh, make that easier on myself. Ah, the music is just that quiet. Uh, you might be able to ch change the uh, volume of it independently in this, I'm not sure. Oh, damn it. What a sweep. I wasn't expecting that movement. from the start. Sandwich guy. I don't like the first one on these jumps. I'm going to keep blasting them. Here's a stream killing filter. Word. Oh. 
<laughs> I didn't know what that was. Why cycle them when I can just do that? Well, it's slow. Nice work, Bird. You're, you're still here. Two for one. I didn't like the way they lined up there. That was pretty nasty. weird flight pattern, but it gives me a big opening, I guess. Huh. Thanks, bud. I was seeing if there was any other way to get those, but definitely that's the only way to do it, I'm pretty sure. Now that they've given him to us, uh... I figure that they're going to start using this kind of things. But definitely in level one, those, those one-ups were a different story. I got a lot of bullets all of a sudden. They're just handing them to me. It's just that flight stage. I think this is part of why the game gets easier, is they stop hoarding items on you. Oops. There's a shield. Somewhere. Do not have currently. Fifteen bullets, yeah. I'm not saving these shots, you know, I'm using them. This looks like a mess, but now it doesn't. I'm sure it's just timing, but man, it looks rude. It's a bonus room that doesn't suck. It's been a while. How do you get that? Hey. I'll get out my own way, man. Where did this ant get a sandwich? I mean, it's, it's actually just a piece of bread. Cool. 
<laughs> oh. We're dead now. Eggs. Fine time. Climbing the vines sucks a lot, but jumping off of it makes it better in some way, weird way. I've been evaded. I can't believe how badly I timed that. Okay. I wanted to see why the speedrunner did it the way they did it. It's because you lose momentum pretty fast when you jump from the vine. You just don't get the momentum jumping off the vine that you normally have. That's why. That's... Ooh, boy, this is rude. Definitely want ammo for this. I don't have any. Maybe I do actually have something. I think I have an answer of some kind. Yeah, we got one of these things. That jump is really gross. I would definitely shoot those two if I had bullets. This game would be better if that enemy right there didn't exist. I hate him. He's the worst enemy in this game. And he's very common in this section. Uh, this whole middle section. Then he goes away. So many anti jump guys. Oh. Damn. Yeah, they are singers. That's exactly what they are. Oh. to the right again that seems to be a consistent theme so that's cool we can just jump right off the vine we don't have to mess around with those Damn. 
he's really guarding that vine. He's rude. How do you get around him? Jeez. I guess I can go under him to the right vine. Barely. I don't have any items left. I used all that ammo missing my shots. That's what you're supposed to do right there. Going for it. Hoping this here. <laughs> okay. Oh man. They they way overused this enemy so much. They need to back off. Game design 101. You can jump over those ones under this one end up needing to jump immediately after I land here. There's a swirly up there. Oh, it's actually going to be hard to, to land the way I did before. A rude vine. Right at the end too. I wonder if I could get to that all the way over there if I really went on and on. I think it's too far. Because you don't get momentum. Uh, the hitboxes on everything are bigger than they look. Which is bad for the enemies, but it's good for the vines. Uh, it's good for when you're trying to land on a checkpoint that you missed. The platforming is as friendly as the enemies are unfriendly. Ow. Oh. My clone. Couldn't make it happen. Finally, a shield. I insist. I wish you got better jumps off the vines. Uh, it would be easier to skip some of this. Lost my shield trying to get down here. Oh, uh, the clone gives me an opportunity to... Go ahead without risking a life. It just sends me back here if I die. Ah, oh, jeez. some terrain. Yeah, that's what I thought. That guy is really hugging at, so he can't duck under him. That's 
really hard there too. I need to blast those ones specifically. Some of these are way worse than the rest. Timing on that is super bad. They ain't synced up. life on this one. Ah, uh, there was nowhere to go. These guys are always guarding every platform, man. Every single one of them at this point. I can't wait for them to go away. We should be back in egg lane. Yeah, back where I was. Same check. I wish I hadn't missed so many shots. <laughs> Why is he there, damn it? Ah! If only he was jumpable. This whole stretch is really mean. Super rude. You have to go over top of him or you're not gonna make it. But he's so big. Yeah, I game over it again. I'm gonna take a loss here and not mess around with checkpoints. There you are. Why are you so far up the road, you jerk? 
Okay, we'll go here. I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah, nice. I missed some items, but that's okay. That's such a good skip every time. There is some forward momentum you can get off that slide, but... It's really hard to understand how it works. Just barely. Getting hitboxed. Again, let's go. You getting a you getting a flow sort of. Last life, I might have to redo the whole stage if I don't make it. Some way to read him that I don't know. I, I think he points somehow, but it is, he pointed up there and he went down, so I'm not sure what exactly he's doing. I think he uses his other hand to point. Yep. This is a very snappy boss, damn. Very quick reaction time required here. Damn, it's not very generous. He doesn't care where I'm at, he's just kind of doing his own thing here. I 
I think if I hang in the middle and just only move if he looks like he's actually gonna go after me, it looks pretty easy. Nice. Drunk much more. Where's this guy going? Where'd he get? He just disappeared. There they are. I know these fellas. Fly boys. Well, this game has a shield that makes it play a lot better, I think. It's just being uh, less generous as the game goes on about giving it to me. Bye, boys. Hello. Did he grab the other Willy? He did not. Hello. Hello. The stress is gone. The spiky boys have changed into big fly guys who are constantly flying way too high to bother me, so. We're back in good game design lands of sorts. the rain. I need you to give me a little bumperoo here. Okay, now what's going on over here? Ah, there he is. Oh well, I got the stuff. Oh, damn it. I just wanted to check what was to the left. I don't care about these. They take too long to use. They're all right, I guess. Ooh. 
Hawk.w.a.v. Stop it. Get out of my way. I'm not sure what those guys are doing if they're flying in a circle or if they're after me. It seems like they're after me, but they're really silly about it. Oof, big jump. I think they are slowly turning after me. Mount Monk Rushmore was a way better thing. <laughs> it wasn't easy, but it was so much better. Uh, this one was just falling downwards, and I actually saw the strats. So. My greed. Word. This level, at least, is this simple. If you don't care about the items, which I sort of do, but oh well. complicated fall this time, but mostly the same idea. Nice. This whole area feels like a bonus round compared to what I've been dealing with. It's almost impossible to die unless you land in the, the big fire. Well, that was a world. didn't connect. Word. Nope. Missed my jump. Oh man. No, you have to do everything. If you're not 100% in your game, you're just, just messing around. What are you even playing? I 
wonder how good that hamster shield would be. These jumps are tough without the enemies in the way, and the shield kind of gets them. It's not, like, guaranteed, though, because it's a sideways shield, and it's also rotating. It's, um, it's very much a real, they must touch the shield itself kind of shield. Which makes that kind of thing happen. Damn. my willies. Damn. Hate to be willy. Willy tree. Ah! I always want to go for it, but it's just... It's rough to time. If you're not full in on it. Oh. Flyboys up here are cruising. the deal with the red orb is it always better or do we actually have some routing decisions to make here We might actually have some routing on our hands after all. Is that a damage shield? Well, where have you been? You still exist. That's interesting. How you doing? My damage shield. That's all right. I feel much faster when that's on because I just push it every time. Oh, 
Be a hamster. We've got all of your cartoon wave sound effects. Silly, isn't he? What about the hero? <laughs> He's not even here. Okay, here's this stage. This stage looks pretty rough. I like the aesthetic. Found the secret. I got foiled by what looked like ground there. I'm shielded again, it's all good. Nothing lost. These are very slopey things. They they give you a whole lot of momentum when you uh when you sliding on them. Items. I did not see that checkpoint there. There's definitely a way up there. I'm not understanding how. There it is. Barely jumping off of the bird does it. You know what? Why not use this? So far this hasn't been too bad. Markedly improved game now that the spiky boys are gone. The other spiky boys weren't as bad because they were doing things. They weren't just guarding ledges. Yeah, this is the guy singing about dinner. How was 
close that got. Oh no! I think that's my first death in this world. Other than, uh, no, that sure might be the first one. Damn. That comes up so fast. You have to optimize the timing on those. Shit. We just got an air fryer. Uh, to try out. I made some donuts with it. it took forever. But they were pretty good. It took forever because you have to make the freaking dough first, and that's making donuts. Turns out it's just like making bread, but with ten more steps. Ah, oh, man, this one's really rude. The first rude thing in these stages. It's fireball I'm messing around. The super guard in these two platforms. I'm gonna try something. Nope. His hitbox stays in the air a really long time. I was thinking maybe if I go off screen and come in real fast, I can get him before he even starts cycling. These things are gross. Uh, yeah, you have to, um, if you get that dough going, the frying part's the easy part. <laughs> that part takes like four minutes. Air fryer or not, it takes a couple minutes. But then you have to make a glaze sauce after you're done with that too. That part's not too bad though. Getting the dough made is the hardest part of any cooking in my opinion. Dough is tough to get going good. Very much acquired skill, you have to really work at that. Because you can, you can both under and overwork bread to completely ruin it. And oh jeez, game over. Well, if you're making a glaze, it is powdered sugar with some butter. That's pretty much all it is. I got the thing, I died for it though. Probably not worth it. Yeah, I hear you. That's definitely easier than making a glaze. I'm just saying it's the same thing. If you're going the extra mile. Jeez. Damn, man. I want those power-ups up there, but I can't figure out how to get up there. And all this stuff is pretty picky about letting you through. Spear Alley here. Fireballs, man. They don't believe in downtime.
Okay, here's a boss that I don't understand because it looked like the easiest thing in the world. I'm sure the cycle on it was perfect though. Okay, there's that. That's not the way to do it. You can't attack them while the shield's up, so... That right there is the animation I'm looking for. But I don't know what attacks he has because the speedrunner didn't um, get hit by anything that he did. It looks like his only spell is... Okay, he is shooting something. We need to, we need to be on point. So this is going to be a timing thing, and he is deleting platforms. Oh no, I slipped. Too early. The window is small, so that's where the difficulty comes in. Okay, so the uh, the runner killed themselves to skip that whole animation and just get it done faster. Save a whole second of time. We're in the last couple stages here. Here's this. Just the one. thing to be done in one go. Oh man. There's not that many hazards. This looked like a bonus stage. It was so easy, but I found a way to die anyway. It gives you as many one-ups as you lose more, really. But, um, you have to get them. I don't think this stage is very long, and it's only a one-off. There's not multiple parts of it.
Whoa. That guy is swooping in. I think there's two worlds left. One of them is the pretty long one, and it's not this one. the upper route. Looks less obnoxious up here. Oh no! <laughs> I'm supposed to ride that elevator down. Okay, there's shots up there, that's all. monkeys are back. The regular monkeys. Monkey. please. Greedy for my own good. Damn. These are fast platforms. Ah, oh, jeez. It just went a little faster than I thought it would. A little further.
Oh, they earned my checkpoint. Bit more eggs. Stubborn egg. Egg hoarder. Missing those two eggs has ruined me. Oh, jeez. That's too bad. I guess I should wait longer and make sure the shot connects, no matter what. He likes to dip right out of the way at light speed. In no way did it look like he was going to make it on that jump. This is the last stage. World 17. It's a big one. It's got some mechanics that I don't understand. And I'm going to have to get used to that we're tiny again. Because that ruins my... Uh, it changed, I should say, my game. This is a button. It turns on this. I can see that zooming out is interesting. The controls are a little weird when you're small, though. I find it harder to control for some reason. So many. 
Oh, it's stocking these up, man. I'm under the impression that I can shoot whatever I want at this point. And I'll have plenty of stuff for it. I'm gonna turn it down because this music is louder than it was. There he goes. Damn. Missed the missed the jump. Oh, we're back to the start. Heck, I didn't get a single checkpoint that whole time. guys don't seem very dangerous, but I just don't want to mess with them. They're going to give me LSM. I'm going to use it. I know these disappear after a point. They only last ooh, that long. So you got to move it a little bit. Ah, I can't believe I did that. Thanks for the sub. Oh, what's up? I knew he'd come swooping in at some point. That's the threat. That's what scares me about those guys. They seem to all want to do that. They, they fly off to the left and they come in a circle real fast on the right. audio cue for when it's disappearing. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Big hop. to um, jump off of this one and stay on this one because the platforms are over here. That was really close. That was really close. <laughs>
A bunch of one-ups on the left there. I'm not sure that I need them, though. I don't know how to get them. I have a dude who will grab them for me, though. So, there's that. I don't think that's the way you're meant to get them. But I'll take them. get the jump to happen. <laughs> Shit. This one looked like it was really tight. I'm gonna figure out the timing on this a little better. How do you do that? Looks like the second one needs to... Okay, so this is why. No problem. It's a trick. Shit. As long as we jump on the big ones last, it's all good. Plenty of time. Out of willies. I didn't want the egg. The egg is in the way. Killed by egg. Damn. Yeah, we get the... We get the big momentum boost from them just wiggling like that. Which is bizarre. Damn it. We also get the momentum denial, which they shouldn't have done. They definitely should not have done that. Uh... When you're going off of a platform that's descending, you get half the jump height. And when they're wiggling like that, you have to sync up with them because of that. That was an error in judgment, I think. That's going to be the threat here. I'll have to get used to that. There we go. 
if you could take advantage of it, it would be helpful, but it's hard because they, uh, they move around in such a small pattern. <laughs> I'm here now. This one's weird. I'm not sure how you time this one. How do I hit the switch and still have time to get up there? This one's gonna be real bad. <laughs> this is so overtuned, man. I buy myself as much time as I think I can. Ugh. Flipping. I wanted the one up enough to do that, but uh, I really need a checkpoint because we didn't save the uh, progress yet. And then there's that. It finally happened. On top of everything else, they do that. Or I don't get my jump. If I don't get my jump, I'm dead. slipping here. Checkpoint. Love to see it. Where'd that guy go? <laughs> I'm waiting. These things are back. Not even close at all. Yeah, I know that. I just like jumping. I'm not even close at all on this. I'm not understanding how this one's done. It's like... Whew. I need another whole jump's worth of time. I 
I guess I have to really move it here. These, these are so tight. I don't understand the timing here. It's so tight that there must be a need for this one to be coming back. Wow. Brutal. The last puzzle in the game. I died 140 times total. That added up. I'll score four. That's our game. If we don't have anyone competing for the world record, we might change to a race format for it. Uh, we are looking for people to play next week, though. All levels of skill are welcome. It's just going to be an open race next week. Regardless, the world record is not any anything to scoff at, for sure. But I picked it for a reason because it's not perfect. A long way from perfect, really. Especially after playing it, I can tell. I'm not sure that the routing... The routing might be perfect. It looks like that person ran it like 200 times. There's a lot of time. Well, I just beat it without any cheating, and I watched all the cutscenes in two and a half hours, so... I, I feel like there's probably at least 10 minutes of cutscenes that you could trim off that. So I think two hours is going to be our hard cutoff point for any racing that we do.
Uh, let's raid Author Blues. He's playing the 380 race of Super Mario 3D World. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Raid message would be uh, 140 skull monkeys. My death count. If you have emojis that are appropriate for that, be my guest. See you later.